Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start today information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Article, Dinar in Dollar Quote, in a televised interview with the Iraqi president. Engineer Mohammed Shia al-Sudani, he uttered a very important phrase, keep the dinar. Today, through my humble vision, I bear witness that the Iraqi dinar will return to its lofty economic value. Holy ka ka! I have to tell you, if a Middle Easterner ever says to you. I bear witness, it's like swearing on your mother's grave. It's a promising that can't be broken. It is a gift that is given, I believe this article is unbelievable. We are just one millimeter away, it's coming. J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dimon, made a statement that Iraq will be the savior of the world economy. That tells you the importance of what is going on in Iraq right now. There is a tremendous amount of effort and hope around this event. We know that the dinar and the other currencies have been coming in on the forex and trading upward. The bank screens reflect that. They reflect the fact that the currencies are trading up and still blinking on the screen, which means they're not set. They're not stable. But they're continually moving upward in value. And they're blinking. So, what are we waiting on? I think they're just waiting for the currencies to hit the values that they want them to hit before we get started. And it would appear that they are moving in that direction. So I'm excited about where we are, and I really think that we're in really good shape right now. The Minister of Natural Resources in the Kurdistan Regional Government, Kamal Mohammed, announced today, Thursday, that an agreement had been reached with the federal government regarding the cost of extracting oil, indicating that Baghdad should start exporting Kurdistan oil. Mohammed said in a press conference followed by Al that at the beginning of this year, Two committees were formed by Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani, one ministerial and the other parliamentary, and they reviewed the work of the 11 oil companies operating in the Kurdistan region, and the two committees reached a conviction with regard to the cost of a barrel of oil, increasing it from 8,900 dinars to 20,061 dinars. An agreement was signed in this regard by the Minister of Oil and Federal Planning and the Minister of Natural Resources in the Kurdistan government.